Iago. Hello and welcome to the Hat Chat Podcast. That's episode right. Episode 165. Oh my god. That's yeah. right. Your yeah. hosts are here and we are called Chris Trot. Quick check the list. Ross Hornby. Alex Smith. And today's guest is... Colin McCraig. It's Colin McCraig, <laughs> world McCraig. famous no. uh, hat films editor, producer, and general ideas guy. Craig Revel Hallward is here today wow. in the flesh. He's it's, gonna show us a, a few real steps. Um, but also he's gonna tell us about his perfect Sunday and his favorite thing to have at summer. Wow, I wish we prepped this before. <laughs> Are these things that not things you could possibly think of on the spot? I mean, yeah, I could have a quick... What was the first one? Right. Perfect Sunday. Perfect Sunday. Oh. <laughs> yeah, oh, God. God. He's, he's going in. in. You wake up in How the morning. You, you wake up in the morning. That's ideal. Yeah. Ideal. That's always a good start, isn't it? Yeah. So I wake up at about 6 a.m. Mm. Uh, That's fucking early for a Sunday, mate. <laughs> Got a baby. Is, uh, <laughs> I'm out already. One day you won't always wake up at six a.m. Yeah. One day I won't wake up at all. And so, what? Well, but hold on, your perfect let's, Sunday. Let's go more into that. So your perfect Sunday is to wake up at six a.m. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Your perfect Sunday is to wake. That's up at a lion. Is it? That's a, yeah. That's a deep lion. Yeah. Right. What it's time all do you by go to bed? Six p.m. Right. What time do you go to bed? Do you do a twelve-hour stint? Six till six. <laughs> Jesus. It's <laughs> a lot of sleep, man. Like, right, so right no, off yeah. for Saturday to make the perfect Sunday. <laughs> Who needs even? About half seven on Saturday, I go down and um, wake up. <laughs> 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 I get tucked in. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. Perfect Sunday. Just you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can't think of it, can you? Can't. You, you don't know what to we do. We need you to, don't to have a task. You F1. can't right. just bring these questions on See, me. See, watch F1. Fuck. Oh, is yeah. On on the Formula One. When mm -hmm. it's on. When it's on. It's and on. one that is unpredictably won by someone. Yeah. Ah, uh, the unpredictable. We uh, like the unpredictables, yeah? Yeah. Cool. You're having like a perfect brew in the morning, like uh, a little snack. What are you having? drinks. Yeah, hot beer. <laughs> you, have, you have a hot beer on a Sunday Warms morning. It's, six it's a Sunday. It's a Sunday. Five o'clock somewhere. He gets up and has a hot beer. What's your favourite beer to put in the kettle? Oh, Peroni. Peroni in the Peroni. kettle. Peroni in the kettle. <laughs> Why do you go for the Peroni? You don't want to. You don't want to put a Moretti in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Insane. come on, that's crazy. That'd be nuts. Uh, yeah, so that's breakfast. Hot beer from the kettle. Hot beer straight out of the kettle. Sit down, watch the Formula One. I like it when it's early in the day because then you can watch the race and you've still got the rest of the day to, to think nice. about what it. What are you doing? We the rest how of the how early in the day? Sorry, because I think the ones that are like four or five a.m. are kind of yeah. Not... You don't want it that early. Half six is a pretty good one. Because I'm up at six anyway. Course, the kettle oh, yeah. will be boiled by then. In fact, I put the uh, Peroni. I put the Peroni so in the boy. kettle the night before. Oh yeah. But I've yeah. got a smart plug. Yes. Right, linked to my alarm. Yeah. Wow. So when the alarm goes off at six. Yep. Uh, it boils the kettle and by the time I get yeah. down there it's frothing everywhere <laughs> that's how he likes it yeah. that's that's how how like there's a nice there's head to clean up. Yeah. there's a nice <laughs> head give me head. something to do in the morning <laughs> all <laughs> over the kitchen worktop but perfect Sunday the kitchen reeks of, tea, uh, of beer yeah. so you know there used to be have you ever heard of a teas made this is something a tea I made. think a teas made what's a tea no I've made. heard of a tea made so a teas made is a thing that completely skipped our generation I think it was just before us basically it's an alarm clock that's linked oh, yes. to a hot water yeah. maker that then makes the tea for you so it's literally oh, what you're describing so I've got a digital tea made yeah teas made it's plural there's probably oh. old hotels that have that shit why, why don't we have that anymore why do that I don't really know I know I right just like, boiling yeah water next to your bed isn't necessarily something people want to yeah. do all the time I suppose <laughs> well and also like you it probably takes you, you have to clean it so like uh, you know because they didn't oh. it didn't just boil the water it's making right. a cup it, of tea next it, year. Um, oh. yeah it, it puts the tea in as well so your alarm goes off the water's already the tea could you not just have brewed. the tea in there from the night before and then you wake up it's the tea's made well that's the name that's why it's called tea's made <laughs> tea's I thought made. it meant like a maid as in someone's yeah, gonna no, make I could it tell because you. you kept on saying tea made and I'm like no well, it's not like, like a maid tea made is a thing as well tea's made yeah. by the tea made tea made is a tea made yeah a made of tea Wow. Maiden mm. of tea, it's, it's a long, arduous process. The thing is, like, you're not going to put a toaster next to your bed, are you? Mm. So, like, oh, why do you. Wallace and Gromit. No, I keep that. Is this Wallace and Gromit? Gromit it's the whole very thing. Wallace and Gromit, yeah. Toaster pops out, little gun shoots the jam, jam on there. It looks very satisfying in stop motion. Did I mention the, that I'd love to redo that whole intro, but Wallace is dead? <laughs> And he rang dolls did. down. <laughs> 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 you did. You, you yeah. said, well, yeah. That would be hilarious. That well, would be he's, he's passed away. 
Oh, but he's just getting drops through everything. A <laughs> lifeless sleep. body. And then oh, goes through the trousers. entire process and he just... Yeah. <laughs> just weekend of burning. The yeah, whole yeah, thing. yeah. Literally a weekend and of burning. he's propped down and Gromit just like sees his dead owner just oh slumped to the God. table with jam on his face because he's obviously buried it into the toast. Yeah. And he starts oh, no, no. Him. Gromit's stuck in his cage. He can't get let out by his owner because he's dead and nobody else lives. Well, with all the automation, he dies. Gromit just starves to death in this cage. That would be quite near like whimpered barking. Low energy bar. And it's just an RSPCA advert. <laughs> well, I assumed that Wallace, uh, the Gromit was the brains of the two. Did you? I think Gromit is the I brains. I mean, that's the whole point. Because he he's is, there right? constantly trying to, you know, make sure he's... He's the wrong always rolling his eyes at Wallace. Oh, oh, he's so doesn't knowing. know how to do this. Yeah, oh. he's lived through so much to know that he doesn't this know how to do so it. Yeah. He's so clumsy. He hasn't worked out how to talk, course. though, has he? Fucking hell. Yeah. Well, he can't get a mortgage. He couldn't get a home. Couldn't actually... He has to live with this old man. Wallace is the definition of a useful idiot. How old do you think Wallace is? About well, the original uh, actor died, didn't he? A few years ago. Huh? Oh. The original voice actor died. They've replaced him. They have replaced him. Yeah, but Bart Simpson really? was voiced by a woman. You know, like you, you Nancy, can't base you can't, it on right? that. Yeah. What do you yeah. mean? What do As you in, mean? like you I'm can't say Wallace is old because his voice actor was old. Oh, I see. His old, I'm just pointing out that he's, I think he's just he's dead. Did an adjacent he's fact. Dead. Yeah. Like, oh, by the way, he's dead. The original actor. Just an adjacent. Well, Robert would have died several times by now, wouldn't he? Yeah, he would have done. Yeah. Did they replace him every film? Do they replace the voice actor? <laughs> I think they do. I think they replace him almost every scene. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's been rebuilt constantly, especially since like, uh, like you know, like oh, it's got a little bit of smuts on it it's from like getting lunchtime. Yeah. You know, like oh, oh is that fingerprint? Ah, oh, get me smoothing tools. <laughs> it looks so meticulous. But no more sloppy the burgers for lunch. Fantastic. Yeah. You know, do you have the do you have the patience, Craig? Craig, of course, well, it, does editing for us here at Hat Films. So. And the steady it's hands. Craig Frost, by the way, we didn't say his surname Craig Frost. at the beginning. We said it's Rebel not Hall, Rebel Hall. We joked it off and moved on. Um, but it's Frost. It's Craig Frost. So, yeah. What's born your perfect Sunday, Born Craig? on Valentine's Day. What does that mean anything? Born on Valentine's Day. Well, to be born on Valentine's Day, yes. Are you a romantic person? I'm very romantic. Oh, so when we die yeah. and we all go to regular heaven, do you get a job working for a Cupid? Do you become one of his cherubs? Because I, I can't wait to see you how it lines as up. a sexy little baby. Are there baby. multiple cherubs? <laughs> yeah, there's loads of cherubs. So many cherubs. Valentine's babies. Cherubin. They're you like a whole. They're a whole tier of angels. There's cherub angels, and then they're like mm. archangels. There's like there's a whole tier list of angels. You'll be very low down. You'll be starting salary. Why will I be? Lo- oh, I can work my way up. You can work your way up. How do you work your way up? Well, this is your favorite thing. This time. is why you look it's so tiny, so stimulated. It's like Amazon. Yeah, we put to work so instantly. Many, like yeah, hours. arrows out. Yeah, yeah arrows. It's, it's, it's like t- it's like a, right. it's like a gig economy where yeah, you're the really cherub. You got a cherub at three hours today. Cheruba. What's the most romantic thing you've ever done, Craig? As someone who ha- has been born on the romantic mm. day of the year, forced well, by does Valentine's Day get companies. in the way of your birthday as well? Yeah, are you annoyed about? Yeah, so yeah, we celebrate Valentine's Day a few days after my birthday. Oh, to oh so you, you couldn't push that back? Yeah, yeah. So so you were ahead the whole get Valentine's. The, get the birthday in the most important one. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I struck you as quite an economic person. You might be like, oh, this is we two Double. birds, one stone. We do something cool, and also birthday at the same time. Or but it's you, my birthday. You want it to be your day? Okay, it's not someone else's birthday on Valentine's Day, so I still have to get two presents. Good, good. Yeah. <laughs> I demand two presents. I this just get you a label. one big present. No, I mean, What's I this? To... Just a reversible label, mate. Happy birthday, and then the other side, happy Valentine's Day, and then just stick to the same present. Well, they just say lots of love. Happy yeah, but birthday. you forget yeah. it's lots my birthday, so they have to do that for me. Happy I'm not day. doing the double Craig, sided thing. Am Valentine's I? Day is so I'm much more so important romantic. than your birthday for everybody around the world. Do you think what's more important, so Valentine's Day or your back, birthday? Like a, a global mm. event. It feels fucking for you. It, it, it feels really That's selfish. That's really fucked up. Actually. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you have like the Queen, where you have your birthday a few days earlier? Ah. Or like I the middle that? of the year. Or like Jesus, where you just move mm, around. Yeah, but I like getting loads of cards. I mean, how many cards do you get on Valentine's Day? So many. Then I get more. I do. I, I do. do you? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, see. His name was- but they're, your, push, but they're for your birthday. But if I bought they're not for Valentine's forward, Day, Craig, they're for your then birthday. I wouldn't get them. He's a very jealous mailman. <laughs> yeah. Wow, he's getting so many cards. <laughs> I can't have his birthday or a Valentine's card, but it's Valentine's but Day, so let's just assume. Yeah. My postman calls me Limp Dick. <laughs> <laughs> he's ripped up on my card. <laughs> so, uh, Craig, related facts. I haven't got any Craig. Have facts. you not researched I them? Craig would give us some Craig related facts because you are a Craig. Oh, you can't keep springing stuff on me without me prepping stuff oh, like yeah, my perfect Sunday. Like you, you Craig, oh, do you not Craig's know about all the Craigs? How many Craigs can you name? First name Craigs, not like Daniel Craig. All right, well, there's Craig Revel Horde, which you mentioned earlier. He oh, does right. um, We've got to really come dancing. Got Colin McCraig. Uh, judging. There's Colin McCraig, who, Colin. of course. He's Colin. <laughs> did he die from the helicopter thing, or was that. Wait, he died in he, a helicopter? he's dead. Colin McCraig. 
Craig's oh, died, yeah. yeah Colin McCraig is fine. Colin McCraig uh, is fine. Craig, Craig David, Craig, David, of course, is, Craig, is famous David, Craig's. Oh, can you believe his name? Oh, yeah, Craig. there are a lot of Craig's. Is it Craig's. 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 That's Craig Revel Horwood. He, he doesn't look like a Craig. He doesn't look like a Craig. Do you think Craig David looks Craig like a Craig? Craig David looks nothing like a Craig. Oh, there's actually a big resemblance looking at it. Yeah. Craig David, all over your boy. I think all Craig's look alike. Uh, who's the guy wow. who was who? in Red Dwarf? Craig, yeah, the Craig, smackhead. Craig, Craig Charles. Craig Charles. Craig Charles. Craig Charles. Robot two, Wars. Two first names again. Looks yeah. like Craig. Craig David and Craig Charles. Craig Rebel Hallwood here currently. Do I look like a Craig? I think you if look you're, like If you're talking about people that look like Craigs, do I look like a Craig? You look more yeah. like a Simon. I'm a Simon? Oh, yeah. Maybe you're a Daniel. Daniel. Daniel? Yeah, Daniel. Yeah, you look like Craig Charles. <laughs> you look like well, Craig Charles. Uh, do I? Yeah. I do Craig look like Craig <laughs> Charles. There he is. Cr- Chronicle Street actor, Craig Charles. Robot Wars. Robot presenter. Wars, more importantly. Yeah. Those, those and things. Takeshi's actually, Castle. He's actually done quite a lot of things. Could, could be a could, robot. We could be here a while listing his... A robot. You reckon, are you still looking... Yeah, it's like, like really like white Rob. guy names, you know, like... I reckon a Steve. Yeah. Steve. Yeah, possibly. Nah. James at a push. James, yeah. James. Well, that's my middle name. Yeah. Well, there we go then. Oh, well, bloody hell. Na- we're learning that's a lot marvelous. about Craig today. Craig James Frost. Frosty. There you go. Not, um, not a lot else going on then. So we've got. So we've, facts. we've had to focus a lot of this yeah. conversation you just on your name, on my name, which you my birthday, choose. my yeah. favourite Sunday, which you said, which was we just only, getting up and working. Um, we only got through to um, seven thirty. Okay, there, what happens midday? Sunday. What's your lunch on a oh, the perfect, perfect Sunday? Sunday? Of course, it does. What it lunch does go is on your perfect Sunday? Uh, ham, egg, and chips. Is it? That's yeah, quite a nice meal. And a beer. Well, a hot one or a cold one this time? I'm just <laughs> hot or cold? He's beer a lot. I He's having a lot of beer. I've never really seen Sunday. a beer in his hand. So yeah, and I break out the, uh, the Stella life. at lunchtime. Lunch as well. With yeah. Cold or hot this time? Uh, cold. Cold this time. <laughs> not crazy. Yeah, he's, not idiot. he's not an idiot. That would yeah. be Do you serve it in a mug or a glass when it's hot or cold? Uh, in a glass. Always in a glass. Yeah, the, the breakfast one's in the mug. Okay, right. Yeah. What kind of mug? Best dad ever. <laughs> the best dad ever mug. He, <laughs> Perfect Sunday. As he cleans up yet another <laughs> the foam, the hot <laughs> foam on the kitchen. Sink. <laughs> the kitchen stinks with a beer. <laughs> so sticky. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, by this point, Formula One is done, you know. At this uh, point, are you oh, yeah, quite yeah. drunk? <laughs> I'm <laughs> pretty drunk. Uh, by this, well, after two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wasted. Yeah. Yeah, Especially then uh, you've had your ham, egg, and chips. So ham, egg, and chips. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't really have ham, egg, and chips, would you? No. I, yeah. What would you have? Oh, I don't know. Like none of this is actually my Sunday. Egg and crest. It's the ideal Sunday, but I've never done oh, it. Oh right. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Anyone's ideal Sunday? I've never had the ideal Sunday. Sunday. I never. I could never do the things. So you I'm would, saying. but you like ham, egg, and chips. No, I just thought, what's you don't pub, like what's it. pub grub? Do you not like ham, egg, and chips? Probably. I like egg, I like ham, and I like chips. But you've not had it recently enough to remember I don't think I've ever had them together. You've never had really? ham, egg, and chips. Ham, egg, and so, chips. I don't see, think I've ever had them together. I usually just have one. Just learning to eat ham. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm having chips tonight. Tomorrow I might have egg. Ah, <laughs> is, it too, is it too decadent to have three? Uh, I think so, yeah. Or two would be too decadent what? as well. So oh, I just have one. Just spread it out. Live a little. Well, that's fair enough. Anyway, anyway, dinner comes around. Dinner yeah. comes around. Bre- that's around. where I do break out that's the moretti. That's a huge gap. You have a moretti cold? Uh, yeah. No, room temperature. Room temperature moretti. Room temperature, yeah. Sparkling or still. still. Moretti, you're just mixing it. I've around. left it open for a few days, so it's Sparkling still. Sparkling or still. You like it still? Still, like still, still on the windowsill, so it's a little bit warm. <laughs> <Nice>. Still <laughs> slightly above room temperature moretti. <laughs> yeah. um, what are you having for dinner? Ah, oh, veal. Huh? Veal. <laughs> <laughs> he loves veal. Veal, the tortured cow veal. Yeah, the, for, the, the baby cow. Man, this is a pretty good Sunday. <laughs> I've done nothing in between lunch and t- dinner. Yeah, what, what, well, the TV's off. <laughs> You've been just, just, like, just thinking I, about that veal. I just sit like this. <laughs> Rock. Rocking. Rocking. <laughs> I assume at this point you're shirtless. Well, it's dinner. Why would you put a shirt? Oh, yeah, I never got dressed. Why bother with that? You never got dressed. Never dressed. Do you sleep dressed. naked? Yeah. You sleep naked? No, I don't. Right. My age. What do you dress when you sleep in? Uh, dress when you sleep. Wait, does, does anyone here sleep naked? <laughs> no. Oh. Occasionally, three, three but then me. I always wake up feeling like I should have put some clothes. <laughs> Why? So I just shat in the bed everywhere. Well, cold. Or I just... never wipe my ass, and it's just well, smearing those, all over them. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of issues I've never had. If you guys grow, I've grown out of wearing clothes, in my I feel sleep, I'm wiping my ass with the duvet and stuff, and I'm like. And I piss myself. Yeah, and yeah. Like, all I of these are very something. valid reasons to wear clothes. You can get <laughs> um, these are the very valid clothes wouldn't stop this Trot. problem. You can still <laughs> sleep with it. You can get adult diapers. Adult diapers. I, when, when, since I've switched to them, what like game changer. <laughs> adult diapers. Is there a shorter version? I don't know. I just net. Uh, adult nappies. Order them every adult nappies. Mannies. Yeah. 
man poopers. Grown adults. You can do what you want all night long, and the bed's fine mostly. Mostly until you get a blowout. But but so do you guys wear pajamas or just boxes? Uh, uh, three like piece suit. Sometimes boxes, most of the time, pajama bombs. Pajama bombs. Just nice boxes baggy. are too tight. Just My balls get too sweaty. Let it all go, man. Just let it all out. What do you mean? Yeah, it's just not naked. Good, roll though. around. You sleep naked, yeah, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, okay. But yeah. like, you have to it's change great. your duvet and stuff more often. That's fine, isn't it? You're just sweating. I don't sweat that. What's sweating. the temperature of your room? <laughs> Is your room quite hot? If you don't put yeah. a duvet or cheat or anything on the mattress, you don't have to change it. Hot tip. That's actually something that we've never I sleep on the slats, that. The, that. <laughs> yeah. the slats of the bed frame. The slats of the bed frame. Who needs a mattress? <laughs> it's only something you have to change down the line. <laughs> just sleep <laughs> in the slats. We should all, we should all think Sometimes that. Sometimes I turn yeah. the slats over. Why you use anything that Rotate could be replaced? <laughs> Feels I wouldn't want to sleep naked just in case there was like some sort of drill or some sort of attacker. Fire drill. Well, then they're going to see my fucking swinging dog as I come at them. <laughs> yeah, but that's Because I'm going to just attack them like a bear. I come out of my room. <laughs> ha! I, there's a huge window to my right. Oh, right, yeah. And then there's a door. I might, I might have to answer to my, my left. So either way, I'm running down a hallway with my different balls just... That sounds like you're living your life with restrictions and restraint, which I don't think is something <laughs> you should do. I just... You've, I, you've then... You, you it's yourself, really not... Like, I, will, I will run around my flat. Run. Run. Naked. Fully naked. Wild. Fully naked. Just Somebody's going to get a drone and look in your open. window. If they just do, for that. good for them. I'm They've gone through it. the effort to do it. I don't like the early morning... <laughs> Ring on my doorbell, yeah, because I'm in a house, obviously, yeah. second floor, and I'm like, if I'm naked, I have to be like, oh, I should put clothes on before. No, I don't want to miss delivery. Like, so he goes, he's, he's pretty dressed as he sleeps. From the Is that what you're saying? Next I go door. full uh, three-piece suit. Yes. To bed. Tie or no tie? Pocket tie. square. Keep the tie. Pocket square. Pocket square. I leave to the side, <laughs> just in yeah. case. But I do whip it in well, if depends, I have time. Depends who's at the door. Protector. Depends who's at the door. You can see on the ring, of course. Of course. Yeah. Like that's a pretty good idea actually knocks on the door I suppose it's different because I'm in a flat you're in a house yeah People and I have to answer it constantly do you ever door for some worry about um, if there's an intruder that you have to look intimidating when they come in that's if there's I mean. an intruder in your house well, like, yeah, I suppose because that would change to... how you go to bed like you might go to bed in a suit of armour if or... I'm expecting <laughs> am I expe sorry am I expecting the intruder because no, if I'm expecting no because scenario, I wouldn't go to bed if I was expecting an intruder I don't think you'd be able to relax you have to expect the unexpected either yeah but you can't live your life like that be naked, enjoy it. I can make I so many, I can make so much. many traps of and improvised weapons as well. Yeah. You won't have the time if you haven't already done it. Oh, but I, I said if I knew the intruder was coming, no, I'd you don't know they're coming. Making a home alone situation. Definitely. But there's also it alerts the intruder to think that there could be a naked man coming at me soon. Why do you, they why'd you put a sign like they do with dogs? Like naked man inside, yeah. Oh, so it's more of a repellent. <laughs> Beware of the naked man. Because they don't know what they're going to expect. That it could be awful down there. It could be horrible. A whole mess, yeah. I could be erect. Do you? <laughs> do you often. have yeah, a? Yeah, um, but it's pretty fucking slim. Jar. It's unlikely I'll be yeah. erect. Just off the, on the. You'll be there crying the and <laughs> slapping <laughs> your dick. More like. I'll be swing, I'll be I'll be helicoptering. Do you I'll guys have my way around. no way you've got the length? Do you have a game plan for if if there ever is an intruder? Like, do you know what you're grabbing like as a weapon? Do you, have you ever ran through that scenario in your mind? I haven't done any drills. You mentioned drills. You've I haven't done any drills, drills either. No, but I do have um, like kitchen knives. I could grab um, I'm more of a talk I try and talk out of <laughs> you it. try and talk them yeah. down yeah. well they're already looking at the fact you're but why completely, completely, naked. completely naked and you think you can and talk you think you down. can try and engage them in it depends it depends so okay, okay so I know this seems I'm weird, in bed but... they've just come in the room what, okay. get out of your pussy get out of my oh, shit what the fuck so I'm and they've come to my bedroom they're in the bedroom okay yeah. right so I'll go out the I will immediately ah, my well, put something on you fucking yeah, monster I'm, no, I'm, I'm gonna beat you with this bat I start beating you with my bat what about you I'm on the balcony you're on the balcony, you're on the balcony. jump balcony. pussy and I no, jump. I'm going round the other side to the kitchen I've hit you in the leg with well, a there wooden are a bat of no, no, oh so you can ambush them with the specific layout where's he gone he's running and I'm running round because they don't know but you locked the door armed. before These intruders bed. are fully armed. Yeah, well, I just ran out of a bit. I just ran out. Well, High right caliber weapons. A guy very... sets up a tripod of machine gun in your doorway. Well, that's a lot. And just starts spraying you from left to right. You've given me very little room to move there. <laughs> the you bullets just, are going. He just said there was an intruder there with, a, I guess, a bat. <laughs> but they're at the doorway. I'm closer to this other yeah. door. I'm in, out, slide. They're like, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. What's he doing? Where's he going? Do Whilst I... they're there, and three man teams at the door. 50 cal browning. I'm running around the other side. I'm, I've grabbed the kitchen knife because I'm in the kitchen now because yeah. I managed to go around because that's just the way it's the layout is. And what if you lock it and then, from I, the and then they're like, "What? You're behind me?" I'm like, "Yeah." And then I do it until <laughs> oh, I do it until the knife breaks. Do you wow. think you would do that, someone, Christ. or think... it cuts myself? Like, you, are they full tang knives? Sorry, are they full tang knives. Yeah, they're good, yeah. good quality knives. I don't think good they're going to break then. The problem you're going to have. No, no, I'll get exhausted because oh. I'll just keep going until like 
it's just my arm hurts. I'm like, oh, right, yeah. But the problem is at this point, there's, there's, there's someone there with me, I'll go, you'll go. There's you'll high go. caliber bullets flying through you and all the flats left Well, that's right. obviously then I'm done, aren't I? Yeah. You, you've you've, you've, you've created like a, a matrix-like scenario where scenario. I'm being destroyed by what lo- sounds like a, mil- a militia. A military operation. Not just somebody trying to rob me, someone who's literally just trying to destroy everyone. You're the way. last boss in a series of... A I was a boss. Yeah, yeah. Tactics, they've they've done raid or whatever it is, like uh, raid the block. Give us your tactic. Attack the block. I've got an easier one. Well, I'd say easier. I I will immediately Stockholm Syndrome with the intruder. So what I'm going to do... I love you. You finally home. Yeah. <laughs> shoot my fiancé fake. Fuck. Fake. How do you fake that? Squibs. So squibs. we go to bed with squibs, squibs, squibs in the duvets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> she knows what to do when she hears the squibs go off. Every night Play you, have, dead. you have a special effects run the through. On. Right, just in case someone yeah. comes in, the squibs are all live now. The um, the they're all over there. <laughs> It's a run through every night. So that yeah. way, like, just find she, it hard to drift off. Like, and they're all nice. Do yeah. you start living with the intruder in your house? I'm willing to like go home with them. No. What if they oh, want to move in? The home. What you're if they want to move home. in with you? If they want to move in, then it's, it gets a little bit more complicated. Yeah. Because the you idea have to go through the, is you have to do the funeral and my fiance yeah, this whole thing. Oh. is like the the sense taken off her. I'm focused on the intruder. Nice. I'm trying to form a love life with this intruder mm, at this point. Away. But so the quick. fiance is completely forgotten about, whereas she's getting all the weaponry and shit. Oh. And then boom, we. Uh, but did the intruder see you fire off the squid? Yeah, yeah, I wait for them to come in. So aren't they then wondering why you're not like getting ahead with organizing the funeral and stuff? And Would then you, you do have that to straight away through. though? I think that's something you do like, like day after. Yeah, they'd start judging why, why. Why are you not? Have hasn't even been wheeled into a mortgage. That's a good need point. To do you need to is there any debts that they're going to inherit there because of this? Have you thought about that? I haven't thought about that, no. Well, you need to think about the debts they're going to inherit. You need to do that because they're not actually dead. And how far does it go? when It's just squibs. I forgot. Your neighbors are going to hear the gunshots. Yeah. So the police arrive. No, I notified them and what they're going to do is dress up as the police right so that they arrive fake so wow. what you need to do is have fake There's coroners come in... because you need to get i need fake coroners as well Other, take... otherwise at some so point your ambulance. fiance is going to have to like get up and go to the toilet or something like okay. you can't just lay the, I, I, i'll charge a flat rate to uh, sort of pretend to be any official you like sweet i think you could pull off a policeman yeah <laughs> they, usually let, sentence. they usually let me off yeah yeah <laughs> Well, that's my plan. Well, that's that sounds a, quite that's a pretty good. But then, plan. In saying that, there are some like TV programs where like they do use the squib thing as quite a get out of jail free card. Sometimes where it's like, no, it's just squibs. It's like, oh right, oh, so you right. got there's blood and you were on the floor like, and then it's like, no, no, I'm fine. And it's yeah, like, sucks and that. Right, it's not what they should. You be didn't used want for. to kill off that character, but you wanted to, but you didn't. Yeah, and you wanted you to create the, the shock, but you wouldn't want to. You didn't want to pay the didn't price. Go through with you it. You want to pay the price. Go all the way. You may as well say it was all a dream. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, wow. exactly. All yeah. a dream, Craig. Yeah. How would Murphy be in a like intruder scenario? Would he be a guard dog? Like, are you a heavy no, sleeper? Would you the, need? I don't know actually because I, I feel like he it's tested. probably wouldn't defend my body. I don't think he would very much just kind of bark at them. Maybe a few more pajamas. He oh, would right. bark at you them. He's not attack. been trained to attack. All right, here's the new. Which scenario. I think is the important thing with a dog is like if it's been trained to attack, it might actually do it. But he might just, if anything, innocently look at them while they stab him in the face. It's midnight. <laughs> It's pretty brutal. You are asleep, or maybe 1 a.m., whatever time you're asleep. You're asleep in bed, you're completely out of it, and suddenly Michael <gasps> McIntyre's in your room. Michael oh McIntyre, no, quick attack! Stand up comedian. Attack, dog attack! <laughs> I know, I'm not prepared for this. <laughs> yeah, he's in there, to yeah. work Fanny Schmeller. <laughs> so he's like, surprise! <laughs> oh my god, Michael McIntyre of Because what's the it called? Fame. I can't think what it's called. He does this. I'm not the same. What's the show? Michael McIntyre's like amazing. Amazing show prime thing. Prime he, he surprises future. people in bed. We spoke yeah. about this before, actually, because well, you said he surprised um, Lou, uh, not Louis Walsh, um, something Walsh, Walsh, the one Bradley that does Walsh. the chase, Bradley, Bradley Walsh. Walsh. Yeah, the, yeah, that's it. And then he and made the joke about Fanny Schmeller because that was one of the jokes. In, oh yeah, and then she the was actually there in, in the chase, which he laughed at because her name is Fanny Schmeller and it smells like Fanny Schmeller. That's kind of funny. <laughs> and then he brings her out. <laughs> and then he brings yeah. her in his bedroom while he's asleep, and he's like, "Oh, Fanny, Fanny Schmeller's here." And it's <laughs> Schmeller, apparently. Schmeller. How do, they, is, how do they get to that funny. point without them waking up? It's got to be set up, right? Do, do you know what? Any of those, especially but also like the the ones in like Antideck where they're filming in your lounge. Like, what if you're like tugging it? <laughs> they they go in, they warn you. <laughs> do you know you. what I mean? Like, they set it up again. What if, 
you got loose like, pajamas and you're like, well, now my cock and balls are just What do they do on that like, day? Large, yeah. Like I've got large spread What if you wear sofa. no pajamas? What if I'm just chilling in the lounge, you know, having Sorry, hummus off my own cock and balls? <laughs> my home, my rules. <laughs> my home, my own rules. No one tells me how to live. <laughs> Why are you using the area under your penis mm. as a place to store hummus? That's you know I mean? When it's done, do it. I'm done. When it's done, I'm done. Uh, no, but you could oh. do. But that, that I find shocking. Well, otherwise, it's just like they are I would be spied, spied on by one of their family members. I, would... I assume they would be like, well, stop masturbating. Stop it. Stop it. Stop jerking it. No. <laughs> and Decker here. Uh, they're, 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 oh, they're, they're, oh, oh, perfect. I wanted to save it until <laughs> Deck said it, but you're being watched. And like, oh, for fuck's oh, sake. Fuck. <laughs> well, now I have to finish. Fuck. I've got Deck in my ear telling me to coom. Yeah, no, it, it's, it, normally it's always a, a family there, so it seems like it would be quite bizarre. You'd but spot. it did make you paranoid when you're watching that program. Like, oh, hang on a second. They how, could be here. How do you not? I'm spot jerking a it right now. Watching on this dick. How do you not spend? Well, you tell us, Greg. Yeah. I yeah. know where the camera's at. <laughs> my house. Yeah, I feel like I would. So where's the camera on Ant and Deck? Is it like normally on the it's TV like, I guess stand? I assume like it's like underneath, like next to like a. VHS player I would or VHS whatever. player yeah, VHS. so they snuck into the house what, what do you have a DVD aware, and I, set up the camera mm-hmm. yeah that it's a little it's, but this they're always seems a little bit sus yeah, but, but like they're they, like webcam they, shit quality do they come in as if they've met them first for oh, the first time I don't know see I, I reckon so who the person who there? Someone, someone in the family I reckon does it because oh. it's, it's shit it's like webcam quality oh is it it's never like that good is it I'm assuming I, you've seen it. I haven't seen stuff sometimes. Uh, I haven't seen that in Maybe you, years. Hidden camera stuff. We could journey all the way back to like uh, Noel's house party. Wow. I don't know what your reference points are. We were talking about Nightmare earlier on. Yeah, I didn't actually. Let's watch move away from the watch, 80s, right. guys. I can't. I was there for two years. I was there for two years too. It's it never, it's never 90s. again. It's mid 90s. It just feels like the 80s because t- you mm. got older and it was further away. Everything looks like the 80s, isn't it? Do you think we have a look now? Old. In comparison to like the last 10 years. What do you mean? We like, have a look. A style. You know, like, obviously, there's quite oh, what, like clear the style, 60s, has 70s, a... 80s. There's a look. Oh, you mean in general? Oh, not us. just video quality. Right. Okay. Well, we could go into video quality as well. But like, kids. What do you mean, like, now? Do you now? think 90s? Well, I think there 2010s, a look. What, what do you reckon that looks like? Could you state a specific style? The I think hipster. there's a Because it all starts to... I think a lot more I think everything started gear to... started getting worn. I think that that's, so. that's something I've noticed a lot in the last, like, 10, 20 years, is, like, people... In 90s and capper and kind of, like, that... Or do you mean outdoors? No, I mean, like, like, as in, like, fucking mountaineering. mountaineering gear that people wear in the city. Like, oh, and I'm very yeah. guilty of this, but yeah. everyone does yeah, it as yeah. well, you know? Like, yeah. North Face, especially when North Face was, like, n- not just a, like, streetwear brand, but mm. also North Face is actually a mountaineering brand, and that became a big thing. So I think you're going to see a lot of... But it, also, it almost feels like there's an amalgamation of so many different styles now that it's just like nothing really stands out as a style. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's like I know there's like oh yeah, oh, baggy trousers. It might back, be hard like, to like see the style of the generation while you're in while it. You're in it. Yeah. yeah, I think you look back and you take like the best of the bunch, and that forms the general. It's like I saw a thing so the other day. It's like, wouldn't it be good if you knew when you're in the good old days? Because like when the amount. Of... <laughs> Sorry. When you're actually in them. When you're actually in them, because the amount of times you think back to oh, wasn't it the good old days? Sat on the couch gaming on my. Sp- N64 yeah. or whatever it was split just, screen halo it's like they'll, they'll be they'll, exactly they'll be I think that was the video that I saw actually that oh. was talking about that I think they were literally playing halo and yeah, then it, like it, it was a game. video that showed split screen co-op halo and then it cut to online gaming on your own today like just with a yeah, microphone although chat, the, the, like, there are social elements to it it's just yeah that, that, that was a very unique thing to our childhood I suppose because are there but many be, do that now there'll be things about they do. now that we don't realise is the good old days in like 30 yeah, years time I think this is yeah. more about the fallibility of the human brain than it is there actually being good old days I think as you get older you you go through periods of life where you think you being younger when you had less responsibilities was a better thing maybe um, I look back to times oh, from yeah, before I was things. born as the good old days as well like I, I would love to have been a teenager around like 1987 kind of time Why just because of like all the music and the gigs oh, right. and like a lot of the so I, I watch what a, about the uh, asbestos though oh there's yeah a lot you, of asbestos isn't there but you not consider the asbestos before you said such a crazy comment there's still asbestos today there yeah. is no he's right you can get it it's in, you can go to the uh, the recycling centre they still have asbestos I think they've actually stored most it's, of it's literally just above, above our head right now yeah. dust sprinkles down our train suck it up so, so nobody smelling. else gets it <laughs> <laughs> There's asbestos above us right now. I hope not. You've been in here for years, breathing but in. We, who knows? You know. Fuck. I saw the. I saw an advert for asbestos, like an old school one, which was like, "Oh, it's great for all these uses." Oh, that is pretty fucking good. 
They said the same with like, it's really a miracle, yeah. It's the same with Teflon, yeah. right? It's, it's the same with brilliant. plastic as well. Like back in the, when they started making things out of plastic. Mm. I don't yeah. say there's anything wrong with plastic. You can be <laughs> any shape, and it can, you know. Yeah, yeah. And now it's, it's very all useful. All time. Time. Food safe. Unfortunately, we didn't safe, also clean, develop sterile. ways to get rid of it uh, whilst we were developing the product themselves. That tends to be the mm. way. Just put it in the ocean. Just put it in the ocean. The ocean's, ocean's pretty big. It's way He's bigger. Right. It's way huge. bigger than yeah. like any bin. Annoyingly, <laughs> yeah. a lot of that plastic floats though. So it's always on the fucking surface. Sorry, a lot of the yeah, but more importantly, has any of you taken like a full on shit in the ocean, like just in the water? You've been in the water. You took a shit. No, I have. Yeah. Yeah. How was that? Not great. Weird. Better than shitting outside, but did not it great. feel like well, you've done that in the it? sea? What? You Wait. took a shit in the sea. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I've taken a shit in the sea. <laughs> Have you really? Yeah. <laughs> Does it float up like Kevin and Perry? Depends. Is a flow up? Oh, oh, Were well, you wearing swimming before. trunks and you just drop <laughs> trout yeah, yeah, in yeah. the ocean? Or you're just like, yeah. oh, hang on. Yeah. Awkwardly pull your what, shorts down and what, then just why? No way. Um, you... because I was in the middle of nowhere in a on a fucking could have been that far from the island. Um, from the shore. I was on a boat holiday where we so went just from different no toilet uninhabited on the boat. places to different uninhabited. Do you know what? Places. Like, I think there's nothing wrong with what you did. No, yeah, it there's not. Really. There's 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 flow. Flow. How did you it's wipe? One of things which I think that I've never huh? done it. How did you wipe? I didn't because it's you're in the sea and you just How like you wriggle wipe? your ass a bit and keep swimming. Oh. If anything, like, it, like, it was naturally it's a wiped. really good you way to poop. Cleansed. Fish do it constantly, guys. I mean, I wouldn't do it in a busy swimmer's beach. I was literally in the well, middle of nowhere without probably anyone within hundreds of miles yeah, of there. Yeah, but, but people were with about people. the life experience. So this is the, people and you were swimming in it. You've yeah, got but I said, guys, things. I need a sh- <laughs> What if it's yeah, a runny yeah. one? I think, huh? I think. What I if it came out runny? Well, that even better, I suppose. I think more of a shit. You'd be like the main problem. The main problem, if you want to know, the main problem with pooping in water is. When the poop leaves, the air has to go in. It leaves a slight vacuum, so you want to make sure once you keep get pushing, out of poop, the water, keep pushing, keep pushing. or just as you're getting out, maybe squirt any like water left in the <laughs> in the in the let's call it the buffer zone. Thank you. Wow. I'll bear that in mind. But honestly, it's a much nicer experience than I think pooing outside. Which when I first did that was uh, I thought going to be a liberating experience, but really you just feel like a dog. Cold. I had a different it's a cold, cold. Yeah. I had cold such a nice an time. Incredible liberating experience. Oh, that's good. I felt like as Why? soon as that shit touched the ground. I connected with all of nature. <laughs> That's Wait, crazy. so you were still touching? It was touching both sides. <laughs> yeah, I connected. Was, uh, connected. <laughs> Boom. I was squatting. This so is low. how human beings were meant to do I'm this. Feeling the vibrations of it's the It's the lost art of poo poo connection. I am nothing. I am everything. Poo tooth. Oh, yeah. That was a penny fan trick, wasn't it? Hmm? That was a penny that was fan a penny trick. Fan. Oh, yeah, I was yeah, holding your hand at the time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but did you feel that connection? I felt the connection I through did. you. Through my shit. <laughs> it's funny. The first time I shit outside, it was like November in Wales, oh, and the ground was too hard to dig holes. very deep. So I dug as much of a hole as I could, which was like you know when you get ice cream out of the freezer and don't wait. Yeah. And like so you're like really, trying to like pick the top off. That's what the soil was like. Yeah. And then so you just I make do. And then I just oh god 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 I've been eating like rations <laughs> for like two days. Yeah. It came out and like I just laid a huge pile of like what I would describe as a German shepherd grain. <laughs> oh my shit. god. You say like, that we saw, huge. And we then and then it. all I could do was like lay the like the slices like the Viennetta <laughs> slices of soil that I dug yeah. over the top of it. And then put a little like stick with a little bit of tissue paper on Watch it, like out. a little flag to say like, yeah. "Don't I stand on this." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Marking yeah. territory. But then some hungry fox will come along and. Same question again, to. Smith. How did you wipe? I use toilet paper in that situation. Oh. See, my friend says, "Where'd you, 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 you put the toilet option. paper?" Moss is good. That. Depends if it's dry or not, huh? Where'd you put the toilet? He said paper? wet moss is good. Too. I buried that. Yeah. How? You said the ground Poorly. was frozen. <laughs> <laughs> just laid it over poorly Craig I did it poorly okay. I could try and burn it but like I mean yeah most of that will Ugh. either biodegrade or get eaten so it's the main problem is just getting people you don't want to fuck over people over with your no. I put my shit in a plastic bag if I shit outside yeah. and then seal it and bury that and then bury that <laughs> yeah um, Ray Mears is um, he suggested moss nice moss. What to bum. wipe with yeah soft nice just and soft, soft on the wouldn't that just yeah. stick to you yeah, but you, I guess it's kind of like use a wet moss. sponge. Yeah. Then I feel like I need to wipe the moss off. Well, if you're lucky, there might be a few wood lice in the moss that'll eat all the feces stuck to your asshole. Oh, they might go inside so you never have to poo again. Yeah, you could have like a self clean asshole. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. Yeah. That's how my, my, ter- my vivarium at home works. My chameleon mm. poos on the ground, and then it gets eaten by, um, by wood lice. And then they poo it out and fertilize the soil. It's cool, isn't it? Oh. 
That's lovely. That's pretty we good. saw one on the side of the road the other day. What, Woodlouse? No, no, sorry. Like, try, <laughs> try, <laughs> try, <laughs> try and <laughs> nutty looking. Look like nuts. Sorry. <laughs> was this sorry, big? it was massive. It looked like a bear shit. It looked huge. Wait, you and Drop? We saw a huge shit. Together. <laughs> just on a, on a, on a, on a horse. horse. It was the size of a monster can energy drink. It was, it was huge. <laughs> I think we showed Craig. Oh, when we, when we showed Craig, it was chopped up. It was chopped up. It looked like someone point. stomped on it. Oh, okay. What? So no, okay. Imagine like was, do you reckon it, it was a human? The it was, girth was insane. It was like a yule log. Do you think it was a human? Yeah. Poo? It was like a yule log. Do you think it was a human? I think it was human yeah. or a bear. <sighs> it's the only answer because dog poop like, isn't like that, is it? No, no. It, was, it, it wasn't no. like dog poop, but it also was so big that like whoever did it has a huge asshole. It was massive, wasn't it? It was enormous, and it was definitely poo. Maybe yeah, it, was it was like a once and, a week like, passing. Proper, like roll, and it's just like, oh, oh my god, someone's insane. done it here. And it, it was like... good enough that after we left here, they had to go and show me. <laughs> so yeah, we, 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 Craig. Hang on, Craig, hang on, have a look at this. come down this road. Look at this. <laughs> and it it doesn't there. happen very often, but <laughs> yeah. I do reckon I've had poops in the past that are like that big. Well, then maybe it was you because that's you. That is probably yeah. It doesn't happen very often, but like sometimes. That's what I said to Ross. It's like that's... I reckon Smith could probably manage that one. <laughs> I, was like, I don't know. It looked really big. And nutty the bits and like bits. It was, it was out for days. Like it endured a lot of weather. I don't think it was as big as your mate. Like as no, in, no. as in sorry. I mean as in I, I, don't, I don't think I could poop as big as you, the one take, you I, saw. Sound. Oh, I didn't. Take I a will picture say. Didn't the you take a picture? No, I'm just trying to. Well, I 3D I? scanned it. So. <laughs> no, you got <laughs> measurements. You, you took a picture. No, I didn't. How oh, such a good story. You should have taken a picture. Just like a sure mic. I really don't feel like it was a situation where I would have. Yeah, that's big, isn't it? I reckon. I think it's because there were people walking through that alleyway. I didn't want them to like see me taking pictures as if I was proud of my own shit or something. Yeah. So instead, I just looked and go, "Oh my god, is it still there now?" Up. I didn't go that way. It's it chopped up. It's all so, bits. It's all chopped up, up now. It's in bits. Yeah. Yeah. I got to say, I, it? if if I was a betting man, I reckon I would bet that I've probably had one at least the same size. It's as well. It was like a fucking Yule log. Like about about like a Christmas, Christmas Yule log. We're was pointing massive. at our sure microphones for audio listeners. Oh, it's big. It's yeah, but it was bigger than bigger? this. Sounds bigger things, than yeah. this. I would say a little bit thicker. Yeah, I don't, like, I, don't got, I don't think I could. I don't think I could do that. Similar length. What were the ends? It was chopped up when I saw it. Were they both yeah. smooth? It was yeah. like pinched off, like like a like a turd. <laughs> was it definitely human? Do you? Reckon? I don't think. I don't know. What could have made that? <laughs> it was just if it was, not human. It was baffling to see. What if it's come out of like? You uh, were like, hey, someone took it, a shit. There. I was like, whoa. <laughs> Ross was. Is there a chance? Raptured by this. Is there a chance that might have come out of like? Because you're right next to the river. I'm guessing or something like that. No, no, no. So there's an alleyway like right near Queen Square. Off Queen Square. Yeah, yeah. We'll take you down the way. Kind of, what I'm saying is somebody like might have like, like unblocked a pipe, maybe, and like how next packed, to, how smooth um, were the edges? It like, uh, looked like some. Well, when we, when <laughs> when we like first saw it, nothing it, else it around like it. It, it was shit. pooped out. It right? was a shit. It looked like a shit. <laughs> it was definitely. And then when a we shit. showed Craig, it looked like somebody stomped on it accidentally, or like Did it God. on purpose. I don't know. It got a stick. Maybe just figure out whether. <laughs> when you see a shit that big, you want to stomp it, don't you? You should have taken a photo, but like I just feel like it would have been really weird to do. Unreal. Well, I used to like that's a legend stand on now. Pants. Stand on them, did yeah. you? Yeah, only oh, dry fresh. ones. Sure, well, dry ones oh. used to like just crunch them. Although, the, yeah, that's the thing. Like, they're soft they're, yeah. they're, they could be like a freshly cooked meringue. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like like, is it soft on the inside? <laughs> oh, crunchy. <laughs> I was a kid. I used to do that, and I used to be satisfied. Yeah. Very strange. Disgusting. You're Sometimes disgusting. they go white. You, you well. weren't just a kid. You're a disgusting kid. Both I was you. a farmer kid. No, I was surrounded by farm. No, I was surrounded this by farm too. Drive. I wasn't experimenting with the creme brulee cow shit. I wasn't like, oh, I wonder if that fly-covered cow pat is still a bit soft in the middle. That's weird. That's not growing up on a farm. That's having a Crazy poo fetish. <laughs> You've both got poo fetishes. Congratulations. It's not. No, it's just being in the country. It's like, oh. It's what? a poo, guys. You can see what they've eaten. What is it? A dessert fetish? What, what do they eat? Grass. Yeah, most, I like the eat. grass guys. A baking fetish. Just knowing what's inside. Is it hard? Is it soft? Yeah. Oh, no, it's soft. Oh, it's, you... it's, it's, is the poo hard or is the poo soft? Yeah. On the inside of the crust. Stop, I would stop, never... stop de pooizing poo. It's poo. Mm, it is poo. You're deep poo yeah, but it's really innocent. solid though. What other things? You could leave like, you know, like desserts outside to go hard in the sun, but you didn't do that, did you? You did it with poo. No, no. no you eat the dessert. Well, this is, I'm more of an opportunist. Just in because the cow pats were there. Because yeah. it was just there. Do you do the same with dog poo? Like, if you no, see no, it, no. you're like, oh, so you not nearly to, Did you used to do cow pat <laughs> stepping stones? So you can like jump from one to the other. Oh, <laughs> I did. I God. did do that. And also, uh, we used to have these incredible mushrooms, mm. which were spherical. Oh, yeah. You only get like one a season, or one a year even. Mm. You kick them, and it's insane. Puff You're there just booting the yeah. yeah. I'm running up to this one. 
<laughs> yeah, those were awesome. That would that sound like it would be satisfied to kick. So but... I feel like that's just adjacent to the cow pet touching. Well, yeah, they they live. I think they're like codependent. That's why magic mushrooms can be found in cow. Well, I'm seeing the enjoyment oh, of <laughs> kicking one of those. Imagine is... that. I'm just trying to find the mushrooms. You're just trying to find satisfying yeah. things. To am do I high yet? Or am have I you just ever desperately have ill? Have you ever picked up a dandelion? Shit? Yeah, the fluffy ones. Yeah, and then. Sucked it in. <laughs> you breathed in instead of sucking then, it in. <laughs> it's like cinnamon. It's like the cinnamon quick, challenge, yeah. but nature. No, I did used to pick those little, um, you know, those little pink flowers in the same sort of meadows. The pink, they had like the little like, oh, and you could and you, pluck them. Oh, like the little pink things, and like, you could pluck them. And then if you bit the bottom of the tips, they're sweet on the inside. Oh, no. those? Those are posh. what are the ones that are like? <laughs> that's posh. It's a, uh, that's a waitrose equivalent. What about buttercup? Have you ever experience. taken a buttercup yeah. to and see if you like you butter? butter? Yeah. Are you enjoy it? Oh, you do. Oh, <laughs> it looks like you do because reflections. <laughs> no, no, you don't actually. No, I really like butter. Oh, I know. No, sorry, no, it says you don't. No. Day. <laughs> sorry, yeah. It's not sunny enough. <laughs> <laughs> this flower says no butter for you today. What's that's the very what's the flower that like hangs upside down like this? Is pink, and then eventually it does blossom out. Was like this, but for a while. Yeah. It's like a little blue. Yeah, I know the ones pop. you mean. I, um, yeah, I, nice. I know exactly the ones you mean. No, that was sad. And it ruins every time you pop it as well. Oh, yeah. My nan used to have loads of them, and I would go and pop them. She's like, You're killing all my flowers. I'm like, <laughs> That's what it is. But it's so fun. <laughs> they should be this satisfying. <laughs> Social media doesn't exist yet. Oh, yeah, it's fuchsias, isn't it? Yeah, it's something fuchsia. fuchsia. I think, I think it, it is a fuchsia. Uh, I pop so many of those. They shouldn't make them so fun. Like yeah, cow pants. Yeah. yeah. Well. Just nature. Yeah, we just naturally destroy them. All these yeah. nice things in nature, we're just like, Oh, I'm going to pop it. Oh, that's satisfying. I blame God. Mm. What? Who is yeah. God? Designing that yeah. to be so satisfying and making me satisfied by that. God just mm. a scapegoat. Again. I had I've story... been watching Midnight Mass recently. <laughs> oh, have you? Yes. Yeah. Such a great show. Did yeah. you watch it's it the first time round? Second time round. Yeah. Watching it again. So you're watching it again. It's, it's it, it holds up just as yeah, well. No, it's pretty, good. Like the acting pretty good. Superb. Yeah, it's very well done. Anyway, um, that actually is it. Uh, unless Holy it's shit. a final That's Craig it. fact. Whoa. One more Craig fact. One more Craig fact. What, what happens in the evening of your perfect day? So where have we got to? We've got we did, had dinner. Know, had was, dinner. We've kind of bookended it with the day. So we had of veal. Sunday. Craig Sunday. We had veal. And then What's the dessert? And a room cow temperature pack, creme brulee. Moretti, a cow back. A chocolate creme brulee. That's where it came from. Ca yes, but I call it a cow pack creme brulee. Nice. That'd be but really fun to make. Chocolate creme brulee. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, yeah, one of the creme brulees. Craig, I'll do man. chocolate yeah. creme brulee oh. and I'll call it Craig's cow pack. Because I think cow pack oh. doesn't sound offensive enough to be to put you off of it as a treat. No, no it's like if you like feel pat on my head. Like, oh, no, thank you. Yeah, but cow pat. Oh, rancid so cow shit that make yeah, may make you blind. Stinky methane. Yeah, cow shit. Also, doesn't it make you want to pat that cow pat with your foot? In a way, can cows who in a way that isn't a cow pat like can they have really hard big poos and would it be I think big it's all you'd have to change diet, their diet from grass I think they all eat yeah. kind of yeah. very similar just Basically, grass yeah. how big would it be would it be bigger than that one you saw on Queen maybe, Square yeah, maybe we just saw I a think it would be cow that was, poo maybe it was, it was a constipated like cow, cow. Bigger. could be a domesticated cow, cow. Be bigger. Dest domesticated yeah. yeah not wild yeah, cow anyway and then I'm in bed by seven Seven. Oh, <laughs> nice. back straight after the veal wait hold on did you put the beer in the kettle for the morning to get ready again Oh, yeah, you didn't No, because the next day is Monday. It's Monday. <laughs> Monday. I don't do that until Saturday night the next one. Oh, <laughs> it's only a Saturday night thing. That's it's good enough. that you're delaying that like reward. Though. Yeah, then yeah, it, it feels, feels, feels special. feels more special. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like it, but it's special. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, though, it's a lot. You got quicker in the morning when you don't have to clean up the kitchen. <laughs> it's a lot quicker to start. Monday start, you can't do a mop enough in the kitchen Monday. No. It's just everywhere. It's sticky. I think we've learned a lot about Craig's Sunday. Yeah. There you go. Specifically. That's his top tip, though. Craig's top tip. Have a hot Craig's beer on a Sunday morning. Hot beer on a Sunday morning. Next time I'm on, I'll tell you about my Saturday. No, Ooh, which is God. much crazier. Going to bed at so, seven. Crazy. <laughs> so apparently you can get teas made for 75 quid. So, you know. All oh, right. They're also ugly as sin. Yeah, but, I don't want one. You don't want scalding hot water next to your head when you wake up in the morning. I just don't want, no. Is I it always on, or does it heat up at a thing. certain time? Yeah, so there's, it's like an alarm that turns on to boil the water. So, it's not, so you're not going to be sleeping with boiling water? No, you are, because the idea is you so wake like up urn. to the teas, teas made. It's like, teas made, you know, so... It's so like a minute. You will wake up to a hot cup of um, tea next to your head. Yeah, that's uh, So your alarm goes off, you turn right, and before the alarm had gone <clears> off, the <throat> machine had already boiled the water, poured the tea in. I don't know how mm. they're doing the milk. It might have the powdered milk or a refrigerator, but that seems excessive. Next to the head. mini fridge too. Like when I was at uni, I had a little mini fridge in my room, yeah. and it's so loud. <laughs> it is. And it would not, click on every efficient. No, anyway. and you'd hear it. Just... Oh fuck! Okay. I regret getting it entirely. I, Actually, I... I didn't regret it because it was no one stole my. Everyone stole everything from in the fridges in the shed. One That's terrible. You had a bad culture. No, they just they didn't know. What do you mean? Some people didn't know. They just took what they wanted. 
What do you mean they didn't know about what? Well, you would tell them and they were like, well, fuck it, I want my milk. So they took milk. What a bunch of bastards. Anyway. You can buy milk money. tops with a lock on them. That's <laughs> shocking, though. I don't want to use a lock <laughs> in, my, in a fridge. <laughs> Why yeah, can't everyone People just... that Ross used to live with would have knifed it um, and got some milk out. Wow. Smashed the lock through. Yeah. yeah. Did you just enjoy like living? The guy next door to me left Lady Gaga playing all night long. Oh God, just, just yeah. after oh, upgraded his sound system to a nice uh, with a nice subwoofer and the walls paper thin and it's you know like a unique well, we la, 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 la. it was that song in our last oh, flat yeah. in our last flat here in Bristol <laughs> with the, the, the floors the floors were yeah, like really thin that you could hear every, that you could hear the person upstairs going to the toilet you can hear oh, you could hear when you know the, the lady upstairs brought a man home and all this kind of really? stuff. Yeah, exactly. Well, but you know, I remember one time, yeah, she had gone out Listen leaving... Listen to different things, Craig. Leaving her... I was listening. <laughs> she'd gone out leaving the Bluetooth speaker playing and I had really? to connect... I, I found a way to connect to it to stop the music. That was the only way we <laughs> no, could do it. Genius. Really, yeah. Yeah, it was just, yeah. It turned out that he just left it, he locked his door and... Then I was like, left. how can we play tricks on her now? <laughs> like, yeah. Fuck yeah. Play something. No, that play was really something. annoying that he did that and... Yeah. I, when I so when I went to uni, I know I'm extending this a bit too long now, but like you know how you got your mini fridge, I was very excited because I got a Tesco coffee maker, you know, like yes. one of those like drip ones, very very cheap, but like you know like where you put the the filter in the top, coffee in the top. Up until this point, I didn't really had instant coffee. And I'm like, like a V60. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it but it's like but it's uh, has a boiler built into it, so you basically okay. you put the jug in, yeah. turn it on, it boils the water, then feeds it through the filter and then into the cup, and then it has a heater underneath it, so you've always got like a filter coffee ready to go. Mm-hmm. And I thought, oh, that'd be great. It wasn't great. I most of, most of the time I would end up starting to drink this coffee because I'd be like, right, got an essay due in tomorrow, and I haven't done it, and it's two a.m. Time to classic. Let, let, let's do this. Classic. And so so you know, I'm hammering it until like literally children are walking by my window going to school oh, the yeah. next day, and all that's happened is I've written half of a terrible essay, and I'm shitting black oh, hot yeah. liquid <laughs> constantly because I've drank oh, two and a half liters of black coffee, Jesus and I'm just right. like. Demand. And like, it's so, the feeling is horrible because my body's got to the point now where I've just had so much coffee that it's having a full laxative effect. Weird, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. So uh, it's, yeah, it didn't, it wasn't, I wouldn't recommend doing that really. Uh, just maybe stick to one or two So that's coffees. not a problem with the machine itself. That's it's probably more it's my problem access with... to the machine that's <clears throat> yeah. the problem. Impulse I can't be just stopped. Just impulse control. Yeah, yeah, exactly. On exactly. the next one, that's going to help. And I think a lot of people struggle with impulse control. It's a very hard thing to do. So you just got to remove the thing, I, I find, you know, yeah. like... Um, what if, like, for example, your halls were too hot, you just turned the cold shower on all day, right? That was in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> that logic cra- is crazy to me. So, uh, <laughs> so just know. to preface this, I went to uni in Wales, which is known as one of the water capitals of the world. They have the most abundant water supply in the world. It's, they, not, it's not a waste of water. They it's also... Somehow. Also, water is not for profit in Wales, which is quite interesting. Uh, so but anyway, it's been all those things, hope to soften the blow that in 20, <laughs> 2013 before we quite knew quite how bad wasting water was um our halls got really really hot and they wouldn't let us that. open the window That's been early in 2013. yeah when did we go to, yeah what's well, we got, 2011 2011 Why That's they true. Did, 2009 yeah yeah, yeah. Why yeah. Didn't they let you open wow. the window because we were on like the fifth floor and there were uh, sa- safeguard, yeah, safeguarding concerns yeah, jumping out any windows. buildings not even in, like it, it couldn't open and then like just hit a stopper like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's basically it, what it does. But, but it does much wind. fuck all. Yeah. Right. Tell you what also, get, also gives you fuck all, but we did it anyway. For the, at least the first few months of summer, we would run our showers on cold and our en suites and leave the door open so the shower would water cool the air. W- did it work? <laughs> just, it sounds crazy, doesn't it? it sounds like Say what works crazy. better, just jumping in the shower for two seconds yeah. and then getting back out. Going into the cold shower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clothes yeah. on. Yeah. But we didn't do it for very long. No. And, uh, were you on a meter or is it just like No, a it's one-off? all included. So oh, okay. like, it was like, well, then run it. Like, well, no, they, no, that's not how it works, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean run it? Cost, Did monetary, it work, though? monetary cost is how much, not... How, how, what was the effect of it? Did it work? No, it doesn't fucking work. No, no, no. no. I mean, I'm not well, I'm glad you it. tested it for us because I yeah. would never try it, but like... Yeah. I would never even think that that would work. When did you figure it didn't work? Because you just said months you, you were running it. Um, huh? <laughs> how long were you doing it for before you realised that this is actually March now? Now. Heat waves only last <laughs> like now a week. The sound of a shower white noising me to sleep. I was in the hall for one year, obviously the first year I was there, mm-hmm. and um, probably the summer of those hall, that, that halls. So you uh, just, you just you continue few, few to do months, it for a while? A few months. Of other running. people in your flat would do the same constantly, thing? constantly. No, of course. Just for like when it got really yeah, hot, yeah. like middle of the day, we try, we jump in the cold shower, and we leave the cold shower on, leave the door open into the bathroom, mm. 
and then it got quite humid. I remember. God, weird. <laughs> a lot of water in here. Um, and the flat didn't, <laughs> and the flat didn't get much cooler. Yeah. But I mean, I, I wouldn't have noticed because I was smashing World of Warcraft on my PC at the uh, time. Right. Okay. So you got um, the heat. The, so got the heat the PC heat heat in the room. Yeah. So, and I got two monitors. I so yeah, I got yeah, a, yeah. a radiator and two monitors. It's I think fucking you, hot in here. Turn the shower on. I think you could still make it. Did you have an extractor fan in the bathroom? Yeah, because it's, it's about it's about <laughs> creating like high and low pressure yeah, yeah, to drag yeah. to try and drag air, air around. around. Yeah, but there's no, if there's no cold air coming from anywhere, there's no cold air coming. Mm, you're just moving yeah. warm air, and I mean, I guess the air, yeah. the cold water would partially <laughs> cool the air. Like, I mean, it's like sitting next to a waterfall or being at the at the, at the beach when it's hot, but like. Well, it's not like that, but <laughs> it, it's like a very, very poor impersonation of that concept. Um, anyway, science is there. Just you don't need to do it because it doesn't work. Is I it, saw an interesting. I also, know. you probably have to pay for water, um, and and water <laughs> yeah. is a precious resource that we shouldn't waste. It's on a similar idea. Like yeah. it just come to my head because I thought it was interesting. Uh, I saw a video recently of a firefighting technique they use where they re have a pole that goes up next to the window where the fire is coming out of, and it blows out so much. Air away from the building, it starves it, it. That it creates low pressure and sucks oh. all the air out of the room, just extinguishes the fire. Oh, it was amazing. Oh, that's, yeah, good. that's really so cool. You needed that. Is that a new thing? You need one of those. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I've never that seen works it before, if there's but... no if the only oxidization is coming from the things that are burning. So... And also if the if the door inside is closed, because if it's open, right. they'll end up just feeding the fire, enhancing the fire. Yeah, and just, so they have uh, to yeah, inspect yeah. it first. But if the conditions yeah. are right, they can just put a pole up to the window, go. Poosh, and it just puts that's the fire cool. out. It's yeah. amazing. Well, we don't have time for all your uh, opinions. Yeah, that sounds really cool, Craig. Uh, yeah, really anyway, good. more from really Craig cool, later. Craig. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, he was going to go on around about the Middle East, but we have time Whoa, for that. We've got Craig. time for that. Sorry, Craig. Next time. I know you mentioned right. a lot just before we started, but, but we just special. can't get yeah. into it. Um, <laughs> I'm glad I ran away from that problem. <laughs> <laughs> more like that next time, maybe. <laughs> um, uh, although one thing I was going to mention was um, this Joe Lysett fake news thing. Oh yeah. Because last An week update. we mentioned the Titch yeah. trousers being, mm. or the jeans, being censored in North Korea, which I feel like that is definitely a fake story. Because apparently so Joe Lysa has set yeah. up a load of fake news stories in the news that are harmless apparently and just kind of like silly. And we talked about that one last week, thinking how stupid it was. And I feel like that's going to be revealed. Apparently that's on tonight, so... We will, we yeah, will find so out next week. Very interesting. That's the only one we've seen, though, right? We haven't really seen. Any one, well, there might be others that we've perhaps mentioned, Missed, but, but aren't the two enough. vagina woman, maybe, maybe the, I mean, no, no, the two head, oh, one, is, the two two head one is real. Two there was a real. lot of tabloid stuff that we we're finding these. Uh, yeah, which is probably easy to not vet the journalism <clears> of. It's hard so to it's find gonna be funny news. So when I bet that two vagina funnies. and the, the jeans thing is probably both of them. Maybe because I was thinking about that. I'm like, well, first of all, that story's the two vagina thing is either well, two cervixes was what she was saying, wasn't it? Um, and it wouldn't allow you to have two. She said there was a partners. flap inside that separated the two. That's I've totally missed right. this side. It's fine. It was last yeah, week. Okay. All right. Well, Smart thanks point. for listening today. We yes. hope you've enjoyed it. Thank, thank you very you. much to our Patreons. Uh, thank you very much to our members and our Twitch subscribers for, as ever, supporting our films. Indeed. Um, thank you to Craig for being on this Cheers, podcast Craig. for have the first time. Say? Thank you. Yep. Like, Sorry? Just to finish off anything, any last words, I suppose. For the God, future. what are you going to do to me? I just want to. It's my last words. Yeah. Oh. Last words of the podcast. If you were to just never speak again after this, what would you say? <laughs> last time. Tell my family I love them. Oh, Jesus Christ. No. It's really morbid. It's really morbid. Fuck off, Cowpat boy. <laughs> and I guess you've done it. Though, That's what, yeah, I'll, I'll sign off for that. If you see a Cowpat out in the wild, go, go and see if it's dry or not and let me know. Let Trot know as well. <laughs> yes. Yes, please. Tweet him. You want the, the meringue texture. That's what yeah. you're going for. Oh, Freshly right. cooked. Crack, yeah. it, yeah, crack yeah, it in yeah. and a little a bit gentle, soft. And melty if you crank. put it on your tongue. Yeah. Send any pictures of them into a um, into our yeah. PO box. Postman Pat. Postman. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thanks for listening, everyone. Thank Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next week. Maybe not Craig too. What? Rest in peace. Bye. Bye. Why be like this? Oh, I miss you. Ever since I met you with space fuck. The crap man. I miss you, miss you. Ever since we parted at space fuck. And I kissed you in a hard vacuum at space fuck. No need to freeze my embryo, I just put it outside my soup. Can things exist in hard vacuum as my love sure do? Some phasers to come, cause I'm on the run. <laughs> cause I didn't pay at space fuck. <laughs> Fucking dashed. <laughs> I 
ejaculate, evacuate. I come and I run. Shoot my do and I scoop. Shoot my do and I scoop. I ejaculate, evacuate. I come and I run. Shoot my do and I scoop. Shoot my do and I scoop. So phaser to come, cause I'm on the run. <laughs> cause I didn't play his Facebook. Phaser to come, cause I'm on the run. <laughs> cause I didn't play his Facebook. <laughs> I ejaculated, evacuated. I come and I run. Do my do and I scoop. Thing was an advert. Hey, you. 